Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this easy DIY magnetic chalkboard that I made for my son's playroom. So stick around and I'll show you just how I made it. I started of course with a trip to Home Depot where I got the sheet of galvanized metal, some hobby boards, and some chalkboard paint. I will be sure to link down in the description box exactly what I used. Here is a look at what I picked up. The sheet metal that I got was 36 by 48, was, which was the exact size that I wanted. There were smaller items available. You can see it's very, very thin, much thinner than I expected. Um, and then I got these pieces of hobby board just to frame it. So at Lowe's and Home Depot, there's typically an area in the lumber yard where you can just pick up pre-cut hobby pieces of wood. And that's what I picked up. They had the exact sizes I needed. And I'm going to stain those to make the frame. The metal is what makes it a magnetic chalkboard. If you want to make a non-magnetic chalkboard, then you can use any size piece of plywood or thin wood that you want in place of the metal. Um, and then obviously you need some chalkboard paint. So this is what makes it a chalkboard surface. So you can paint chalkboard paint on any surface to make it a chalkboard. I use the Rust-Oleum paint in black. They also do have a tintable version that you can get it tinted to any color paint you want, which could be really fun if you wanted a colored chalkboard or a white chalkboard. So now I'm gonna get started on the painting and I'm just gonna let you know a couple of things I learned along the way and that is that you need to do really thin coats and you need to let them dry completely before you move on to your next coat. So I unfortunately learned that the hard way between my first and second coat if you don't let it dry all, all the way when you do the next coat, it picks up some of the first coat and takes it off. So that left me with some unsightly areas, but um, it turned out okay in the end. Here is the update. It took me about five coats to get the coverage I liked. And you'll see I do have some rough spots right here. And that's because after the first coat, I didn't let it dry long enough to do the second coat. So that's a note to make sure you let the coats dry in between each one. Um, if this was going somewhere other than my kid's playroom, I probably would have redone it and done the other side, but I don't really care. He's gonna beat it up anyway. So that's about four or five coats. And I have this wood that I'm going to use to frame it out. I'm going to stain it and then I'm going to use liquid nails to attach it. Another quick note, if you can do this project anywhere other than outside, I think it would be much better. I didn't have anywhere else I could do it and definitely I think some of the dust got in each layer of the paint that you probably could have avoided if you did it inside or in your garage. And now I am just wiping it down before I attach the frame.
here I've used some rocks just to hold it in place and let it set so that it doesn't move and add some pressure um, in case any of the wood is warped. I'm